I'm here, I'm framing on this arm, and he's trying to hit me with this arm. And he's just, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this opposing shoulder here like this, and I'm gonna drop my foot on his hip. And he's still probably trying to hit me with this arm. He's trying to get his arm free. I pull my knee to my chest. There's my triangle. Okay, and we did this the other week. I want you to think like, you're in your knee, you have a little vampire mouth here, and the vampire mouth is gonna go chop onto his neck, right onto the carotid. Okay, I want you to squeeze your hamstring from here. Your toes are gonna be up, so when I lock this off, I'm gonna turn my, look, he's already wanting to tap. I don't even have to pull my arm out, because it's this and the vampire squeeze out of this that means that as soon as I get this on and squeeze it, he's already getting ready to tap, because this is actually quite tight. Okay, and that's the lock. Even if he was real big here, and I could only get my feet together, look, I can make him tap here. I don't have to be knee pit all the way down to that foot. Okay, so pretty simple. We're here, we're defending the strike. We're like, oh, I've got the other arm. Now he can't hit me with that either. Foot on the hip, boom. Vampire bite, boom. Triangle, squeeze. Okay, remember whenever there is a triangle, if I can't squeeze, I can start breaking stuff at the same time or stopping the ground and pound in the get up. Attack this arm. If he goes to step up on his far leg, he wants to slam me. I can stop him by grabbing that leg as well at the same time. All important things that we did uh, last week.